Guys, I don't think I'm ever going to go live again with normal hair. <laughs> Hello, Instagram. So every week I do a live on Instagram that I end up repurposing to my YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube in the future, welcome. If you're watching this live, welcome. If you're watching this on my IGTV, welcome. I don't normally have purple hair, but I do because of this amazing filter and I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I'm wearing my astrology robe. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about motivation as an entrepreneur and you can apply this even if you're not an entrepreneur you can apply this to any goal you have in your life but we're going to specifically talk about entrepreneurship because that's really hard nowadays um to have a goal especially and i'm learning this for my own self when you've been an employee your whole life you have an employee mindset of things and you have to shift that mindset from that employee mindset of waiting for someone to tell you what to do and get the paycheck and go home. You know what I mean? You have to really motivate yourself. <laughs> you really have to motivate yourself to do it. Okay, so let's talk about it. What motivates you as an entrepreneur? Hello, welcome. Do you like my purple hair and my astro robe? Um, so what motivates you as an entrepreneur? This is so key because I'm realizing as an entrepreneur, that's also looking for people to run with me as an entrepreneur. I'm up against my own limitations and I'm up against other people's limitations, right? And so the business that I'm in is not just about my, my own mindset issues. It's also about being up against other people's mindset issues and having to support them and hold space for them wh where they're at, right? And so depending on what, what um, business you wanna build or what business you are building, this is the key. Are you ready? It's very simple. You already know the answer. You already know this, but I'm going to tell you. Pain or pleasure. That's what motivates us as humans, okay? Pain or pleasure. That's it. That's what motivates you. That's what motivates you to press play on your workout. That's what motivates you to get up and, you know, get going with your day. That's what motivates you to eat healthy. That's what motivates you to... I don't know, date the right person or date the wrong person, right? It's all about pain or pleasure, okay? So in business, you are only going to push to your goals from a space of inspiration, pleasure, or a space of scary urgency, pain. So a lot of people say in my business that you come to the business that I'm in either broken or freaking lit up right? Because it's that passion, pleasure, that drives you, or it's that fear, that fear of what you don't want, pain, that's going to drive you as well. So a lot of people that succeed in entrepreneurship, they've either been so freaking humbled and broken, maybe their back is up against the wall, they can't pay the rent, they know that if they don't do something, they, they're they done, like they can't pay the rent. That is going to be a pain motivation, right? And I'm sorry, but pain sometimes is the best motivation. I actually think pain is more motivating than pleasure, right? Now, pleasure can be super motivating too. If you are pumped up, lit up, on fire, inspired, aligned with your vision, and so on alignment that God is just, that God source oneness, higher power energy is like just pouring into you, right? then you are gonna, you're gonna succeed, right, with that energy. And so you have to ask yourself in anything you're trying to accomplish in life and any result you're trying to get, how are you gonna find the motivation? Motivation's actually a lie, it doesn't exist, okay? And I know that to be true because when I started my fitness journey, I did not want to do it at all. Like I remember posting play on day one, January 14th, 2018. And the reason why that's the day is because prior to that day, in my 20s, I did yoga classes in New York City when I lived there. I had a gym there that I would go to. I sometimes worked with trainers here and there. I mean, I was like, a, I, I was into like, you know, working out and stuff, but I didn't have a protocol that I was following. I didn't have a program that I was doing from start to finish and getting a specific result and really committing, right? Like I would go to yoga when I felt like it or I would go, right? So what I, what I mean is when like, you're gonna like go on a journey and you're gonna commit or even a marriage think of a marriage like you get married and you commit right well what's going to motivate you to stay committed motivation is a lie it's not real 
Okay, so when I started my fitness journey, I was not motivated. I didn't get, I didn't want to do it, right? I pressed play and I was like, I have to do this again. Ugh. And I remember food prep was so painful for me. I did not want to do food prep at all, at all, at all, at all. <laughs> Sorry, I have all of these crazy notifications going on my phone. So, but what motivated me to start my fitness journey? What motivated me when I was 60 pounds overweight to lose 50% of, of that weight? What motivated me it was a month before the month of my birthday when I turned 30, 37. No, 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 no. I turned, let's see, 2018, I turned 38. So I was 37, I had just turned 37. And every month for my birthday, my lovely parents give me money for clothes. That's like my gift every year. And so I went to the mall, I think with my, no, did I go with my mom? No, I'm getting so confused. No, I went by myself, I think. I think I went by myself. Oh, no, 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 I did. I did go to the mall with my mom because I was home for Christmas. Okay, so I go to the mall with my mom and I'm in the dressing room and I'm, I re I'll never forget this. I was looking at myself in the mirror and I had done this before, but this time I was like, who, who is this person? Like, I don't even recognize this person, you know? And so for me, I was so severely depressed and I was so like, I couldn't believe that that was me. That So that pain, that d oh, deep, deep, deep pain of like, I don't even recognize myself is what motivated me. I didn't wanna press play, but I was in so much pain about it, okay? So again, motivation's a lie. If you wanna accomplish something right now in your business, if you wanna accomplish something in your life, you have to find the pain, the pleasure. You have to find the pleasure urgency or the pain urgency. Okay, hope this helped you. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Talk to you soon, bye guys.